Hello and welcome to a Novo Pangea video. We're going to look at this blockchain game and um, I think it's early right now because we just entered the beta or alpha uh, play of the game which is quite interesting though because it's new and it's something that I want to check it out and at the same time my impression of this game or early impression. And before we begin, like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel grow and let's check out on this game. So Novo Pangea, it's a multiplayer strategy game, which is quite interesting. Anyway, so before we begin, do create a Wax wallet. You can do it by clicking this two link, either a Wax wallet or an Anchor wallet. Both it's supported by this game, which is fantastic. Step two, it says buy story packs. Unfortunately, I think we have uh, past this phase already because what you're gonna do is you're gonna get redeem uh, not say get redeem for game assets with whatever cards you get in here the story packs and since the game is technically launched so we can skip step two and dive straight to step three which is get the asset cards and we have some skill workers we have buildings okay cool interesting and of course we have lands of course but of course right and lastly, of course, we want to play the game. The currency right now is Obsidian and checking from Elcor, right? It's not listed here. So that means it's not up for trading yet in terms of token. And in this case, the early impression that I have is most likely this is just started, which is good, right? Personally, I think it's good because you get into the game early, you accumulate your resources. When the gates are open, you can sell, you can buy and sell trade. And some people would say pump and dump, right? Yeah, but looking at a lot of NFT games lately, it's a bit sad though. A lot of people like, I mean, just get in early and then dump everything. But at the same time, we're not talking about that. We're going to talk about the game itself. And so let's start off with the story. So balance this thing, taking choice are cool. So basically we have six realms. Obviously we see the six realms. Da, da, da. Interesting, we have some lore. One land, boundless ocean, all right? Typical stuff, all right? One land and everything is ocean. Hmm, and I don't know, maybe it's overused, right? But then again, who am I to critic the game? I mean, not the same game, the lore. We've got six creators, six elements, and six regions. So this is uh, what do you call this? The base of the game. So we have six race, or not say six race, six elements. All right, six. I'm gonna call it race because it looks like race, right? Yeah, six elements. Okay. So that's that. And what are the six elements? We have. Da, 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 they didn't say anything. Not here. Okay. Let's go to the six realms. Most of these here. So we have Earth realm, Light realm, Shadow realm, Space realm, Time realm, Water realm. Okay. Cool. Well, if you're gonna cover with Boundless Ocean, don't really need Water realm per se, right? Because it's the biggest out there. <laughs> All right. Earth realm is land, obviously. Light realm is the, the, the geometry formation, bright, smooth surface, go sun, this clean, okay, shadow. Okay, interesting. So this is mainly on light, like literally light. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's like sun and everything. Shadow is the opposite of light, which is everything under the shadow, out of the sun. That's there. Okay, cool. That's that shadow realm. Space realm. All right, so Alta pipeline connects alleyways, pass it in and out this realm. Long corridors. Okay. All right, this one didn't say a lot. Space, high altitude, so it uses space above up to the sky. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. All right, next is time realm. Time realm is located core of the realm where direction exists. The direction ceases to exist. Okay, the the okay. That's interesting. Interesting. I, I'm I'm speed reading. Right, I'm not gonna read word to word. If not, this video is gonna be way too long. But the realm is obviously islands, right? Normal. So the game has launched on July 11, which is oh wow, almost two almost two weeks already. About uh, let's see, on the day 12 days. Yep, almost two weeks. So then that's that. So economy play. So right now we have economy play and we have PVP. So let's check out the economy first. Novo Pendra economy play is a multiplayer strategy management game built with web. Okay. Economy plays will set the foundation of the entire ecosystem. That's normal. Um, continue to expand the future release of PVP and PVE modes. Nice. 
So we have landowners, building owners, subcontractors of skilled workers, a combination of quite cool. So basically you only need three different NFTs. So land, building and workers. Yeah, cool. There's no right wrong way. All right. How to get started. So we have very straight create wax wallet, story packs. Like I said, we don't need this anymore. We skip number two, we goes to number three, redeem for game assets, which we're gonna check later. Whole for game utilities, you can choose to keep higher rarity tiers. Yeah, this one we explore, build your economy, all right? So we're gonna check this, definitely for sure. All right, so obviously we skip this already because there's nothing much we can do here because we have the assets already populated on secondary market, so that's that. Land and building, so land, what is good? Why do you need to own land? Land to put buildings. Why do you want buildings? Buildings to get resources, simple as that. And in order to get resources, you need to populate the buildings with skilled workers. So in the end of the day, workers is the best for now, right? Buildings in, in, at skilled workers, yep, yep, yep. Contractors, okay, cool. Skilled workers shifts are 12 hours in length, okay. Specialty workers, later release, right? Source of economy, rent land owners, wages, skip workers, upgrade buildings. All right, cool, 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 cool. Gaming NFT. Okay, we're gonna skip some of this because we're gonna explore in the game itself, so we don't need to go through any of this at the moment. So it looks like that. Okay, nice. Inventory. Okay, set rent, unstake. Okay, cool. Production yield. So we want to learn a little bit what does the pro uh, what does the building yield. Uh, district town hall upgrade buildings okay cool it's very fairly standard for a typical um well i call it the clash of clan style of a strategy game ish you build buildings get resources build armies and army to attack other people done so that's that and we can yeah we can skip some of this governance right this one's a little bit interesting the purpose of novel government is to regulate the economy through a series of smart contracts select payments pass through treasury fair play for all plays okay District Town Hall, Realm Council, okay, not, not, nothing much here yet, uh, yeah, I mean, words are nice, but mm, we, we want something a bit more substantial, so we're gonna wait for it to be released. War is coming, alright, so nothing much on the PvP section yet, so obviously this felt like a typical, yeah, I think Clash of Clans style of a strategy game. Story, NFTs, okay. The, I think this one we can skip already because we already passed this section. Yeah, so we basically get these cards and then get resources. And then if you're on the hold, that's nice. Limited 3D. Interesting. Interesting. If it's a 3D model that you can plop in um, any metaverse, wow, I think it's nice. That's one of the things that I like about NFT. It's the 3D models and the potential to expand into a metaverse. That's the main thing. If it's a 2D card like this, eh, not my cup of tea. That's for sure. Definitely. That's for sure. How voting works. Okay, cool. So I think that's that. What the cannon? Okay, cool. So we. So this is where I'm gonna revisit when it goes live because we're gonna go straight to the game. So player hub first, and these are the NFT that I'm gonna give away. So links down below, join, and of course like subscribe and hit the notification button and help this channel grow, right? I do appreciate your support, but more importantly, I have six NFT and we are gonna give out five, or rather I am gonna give out five NFTs and it's gonna be random. That's right, I'm gonna give out well, basically I'm gonna give out five of this and it's gonna be random chose, I mean, I'm gonna choose it randomly and I'm gonna give it live. And that's gonna be fun. So I've picked uh, time because I like time, the notion of time and it's fun. All right, so I have one of each realm. So I have earth realm, light realm, shadow realm, space realm and time realm and water realm. Well, hopefully I managed to keep the water realm, but then again, I'm not gonna use any of these assets. It's gonna be for you guys out there. Right, that's gonna be it. Uh, marketplace, we're gonna check a little bit, check, check. Obsidian, of course I can't redeem. Skilled workers, okay. If you're asking, hey, I do not have any of these credits how, or creator credits, how can I get them? And the answer is buy creator packs, right? Simple as that, you can go to buy packs, right? Simple, all right, so we ran out of here, ran 
I think it ran out. Oh, I think we don't have any more. Right, 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 right. 129 for a director's pack. Ooh, this is high chance of rare. But you know what? I'm not going to check off these packs because we're going to go straight to Novo Pangea's uh, marketplace right? and see how much it's cost on the secondary market. And we're going to start off with, obviously, we're going to start off with packs and see how much it costs. So we're going to go for the lowest and see how it goes. Writer's packs about $21, $22, okay? All right, all right. If you want to get packs, that's one way to do it. But personally, I would say go for the workers. Workers are about 13, about 1350-ish. Let's put $14 as a whole. Lots of water realm, lots of right light realm, time realm, okay, cool, 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 shadow realm. Wow, that's it. Okay, lots of shadow realm. Okay, space a little bit less. And uh, where is earth? Well, earth realm is interesting. Interesting. All right, cool. So these are the price of the NFT on the secondary market. That's nice. Now let's go straight to the game. So the game looks something like that. And do note, I have not played anything. We're going to explore this live on the giveaway day. And that's right. I'm going to probably try to grab a land and a building. Huh. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So let's see. Let's pick Earth. Because I know I've seen Earth. Earth is very like popular amongst the players. And if you have joined the Discord, lots of people are on Earth, I think. But anyway, by look, looking at District 1, look at all this it's quite cool quite nice but sadly um, I think this is the MVP uh, minimum viable product phase of the game which means this is the most bare minimum economy phase that which is all you need to do is just get a land well, plot has been claimed so once it's claimed you build a building building is not ready for skilled workers which means it's yeah so not ready to mean somebody is inside if not you get something like that Earth Realm Energy Mine, I can put my workers in and I will get one obsidian for a 12 hour shift. Okay, and I believe this is zero out of three, which means I can put up to three workers. Nice, 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 nice. Well, come think of it, Earth Realm does really have some nice art per se. I'm not gonna lie, it is some earthly art and I like it. Uh, no more exchange, of course we can buy and sell resources, energy, building materials, food. So currently all these things are used to upgrade buildings and heal workers normally, right, for food. And uh, redeem resources, oh, I have no resources to redeem, so ignore. Ignore, so lands, I don't have any lands, I don't have any buildings, I only have workers and all these workers are for giveaways, so I'm not going to touch it. And that's that, alright. No characters yet. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. Eww. Okay, I right. earn land for rent. Does it load the list? If it loads a list, it will be cool. cool, cool. Ooh, it does load the list. Nice. So add buildings. So if I were to add a building here, I need to pay two obsidian. Is it two obsidian a day? I'm not trying. I, I don't. I, I most likely will not uh, rent it out. Mostly, I'll just build a building. And guess what? You guys can use it. <laughs> jobs. I think we have plenty of jobs. And most of them are one obsidian. Yep. Everything is one, one, one. So we have food facility. Of course. Of course. We have food. We have building facility. And that's it. Food, build buildings, energy. Right. We need three, three types of uh, resources. That's right. That's right. Cool. Unfortunately, we can't do anything here at the moment. Uh, do we have anything to level up? I don't see anything to level up, that's for sure. Let's click one of this guy. Oh, upgrade coming soon. Ha ha, ha ha, I knew it. <laughs> so unfortunately, this is the MVP phase. So what you can do is basically just get your uh, resources, which is obsidian, energy, building, and food. And there is one small little thing. Yeah, there's my profile. Cool. So I have no district. Uh, district zero. Wow. Upgrade storage. That's right. That's the part. So when you reach to your cap, of course, you can upgrade and upgrade is oh, interesting. Interesting. Cool. 
wood obsidian for energy oh wow wood for wood i mean building material for building material okay okay of course you can see activity zero buildings zero workers zero plot and that's that hmm cool well that's all i have that's all i have for you for today oh, oops something went wrong yeah all right and that's that so before I end, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel grow. And of course, I'm going to have a giveaway. These are up for grabs and it's going to be the end date is this Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight, not Daylight Savings, Pacific Time, right? And that's it. Until then, I will see you guys next time. And I wish you good luck for the giveaway. See ya, my friends.